Mr. Nan, we've already started digging. I'd like to ask, can we finalize the structure of the cable, or we're going to have a hard time getting things moving? Okay, I'll check on the progress. Mr. Nan, I was just on my way to see you. Jung, what's the status of the cable problem we talked about? Mr. Nan, you said that our proposed temperature gap would not work in terms of the connection. Yes, although it is a good way to solve the problem of thermal expansion and cold contraction in traditional structures, like normal train tracks are connected by temperature seams. Listen, the temperature seam of the rail and the friction between the wheels make a sound. But conventional structures can't withstand the thermal expansion and contraction of our steel beams. Mr. Nan, look. We're ready to set up the slide support. Slip joints. It's so hard to understand. Simply put, the 5,800 tons of steel girders were placed on 50 columns. We've got a sliding support between the ring beam and the column. Then when he expands and contracts, it'll release all its deformations. Yeah. The steel beams are free to contract or expand on 50 columns. It also maintains the structural integrity of FAST. Okay, okay, Jang, you're doing great. I'll talk to the construction site. The structure is almost finalized. Mr. Nan. What's going on? Fatigue resistance of the fast cable network. There might be a problem. Huh? Can this problem be solved? I've checked them at home and abroad. There's no precedent. Ah, uh, what should we do? Don't worry. Let me take a closer look. Jiang Pong. Mr. Nan, Zhang Peng went to wash his face. He went to refresh himself and will be back later. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. Zhang, do you really think this problem can't be solved? All I can say is that there's really no precedent for this, so don't worry about it. So then let's do something about it. Yeah, that's right. It's late. Whether the cable will resist fatigue is another matter. We mustn't tire ourselves out too much. You've got to keep it in check. Zhang, I'm in a hurry for a reason. You have a PhD in structural engineering. It's not my area of expertise. But I have to think about the fate of the whole program. Nothing can go wrong with the details. Yes, Mr. Nan. The current general standard for stress amplitude in steel cables is 250 MPa. But the design of the FAST project, the fatigue strength of the wire mesh is 360 MPa. It's way out of line. Through calculation and analysis, I think that in order to meet the active reflection of 360 MPa on a 500 meter spherical surface, I am afraid. Inadequate. Yeah. Zhang, you arrange a consultation with the experts right away. Yes, Mr. Nan. Mr. Nan, what should we do? The experts don't agree. Yeah, but 360 MPa isn't enough fatigue strength for that. They basically agree. Well, there's been counseling sessions, but we haven't found a solution yet. I believe there's nothing difficult in this world if you're willing to climb. Yes, Mr. Nan. We'll figure it out. If we raise the anti-fatigue standard to 500 MPa, is it possible to reach this target? Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of testing. Is there time? Race against time. Let's start experimenting now. <laughs> 